So is there one thing uh, that really stands out with you that you think would really make a positive impact on blended families? I think it's the church. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think as a church community, we need to come around and uh, offer support and education and community to blended family couples and their families as a unit. Like we do with marriage ministry, like we do with parent education, like we do with MOPS programs, uh, like we do with men's ministries, like we do in Celebrate Recovery. Uh, we, you know, we've found a way to do this kind of ministry with every other family unit, single parent, but we haven't found a way to do it with blended family couples. And it's time. It is absolutely time because unfortunately, we're just kind of leaving people to figure it out on their own and uh, they're struggling. And uh, there's so much more the church can do to come alongside people. Premarital education, not, not premarital education like you give every other couple who's getting married for the first time, but pre-step family education. That's really different, you know. Uh, you know, coming beside them as a young married couple and walking out parenting and step parenting with them. That's really helpful. I, I think that the church, I agree, that's where it needs to come from the church. And I think what the church has done so much of the time so far, we've just thrown blended families, whether it's pre-marriage, marriage, in with everybody else instead of really knowing that there's some unique circumstances here and we need to help them address these issues and walk, walk alongside them, just like you, all the areas you mentioned that we've done a pretty good job with in churches. Absolutely. You know, I, I had a guy say to me one time, he said, you know, Ron, my wife and I have been going to the marriage series at our church. And he said, and I had to sit there and translate everything they were saying into step family language and try to figure out what applied to us and what didn't. Now, what struck me about his comment was, it's kind of like he was sitting in a room and somebody was speaking Chinese, and he's trying to figure out how to interpret that, translate that into something he could understand in his world. That's how different the blended family experience can be. They're still a married couple, and the marriage ministry is helpful and has some things that are going to apply to them as a married couple, how to communicate well, how to manage conflict. Those are things that all couples need to learn how to do, for example. But there's some uniquenesses about how you walk those things out in a blended family that are very different than marriage. And so the church's assumption that, well, our marriage ministry helps everybody in every circumstance is just inaccurate. It's just misguided. And so we need to do marriage ministry and we need to do blended family ministry. I agree totally. 